This is Bill Murphy with FPSGuru.com, and I am here with Arthur Reggie Bennett. And why don't you tell us a bit about what you do on this awesome game, Spec Ops of the Line? Well, I'm a former Air Force survival instructor, and I have my own survival school in Virginia called Mountain Shepherd Wilderness Survival School. And I trained everybody from military all the way down to Boy Scouts and everybody in between. And so they've asked me to come along and talk about the survival aspect, not only the, the environmental aspect of this game, but also the psychological morality aspect of this game that these, these actors have to go through. Yeah. Um, so, now, look, to give people an idea about what Spec Ops it is, there's a, a three-person team mm -hmm. that's sent on a basic recon mission out into, uh, uh, I believe it's, it's Dubai, Dubai yeah. India. After a huge, massive sandstorm has wiped massive. everything out. Yes, wiped okay. everything out. And they're sent there to kind of find out what happened to a general and get caught up in the action and That's what's right. happening. That's right. And as they're going along, the environment is affecting them. Mm -hmm. They have to make moral decisions. If they make this decision, then the game takes them in this direction. If they make another decision, then the game takes them in another direction. That's what I really like about it. Can you um, ex explain what you mean by the decisions? These are moral choices, you Moral choices. Do I shoot? Do I do, or don't I shoot? Okay. All right. If I take this person out, then what's going to happen after that? If if we if we just leave, then there's consequences of that too. Okay. So it's not really. It's kind of make the the player think not about just killing, that's, but you know trying to make these choices. Yeah. And that's exactly what our militaries have mm -hmm. to do out there every day. You know. And that's why we have the best military in the world. Are there a lot of civilians in this game? Then? There is a lot of civilians. Okay. Yes. Okay. And explain to me. Um, how, how you would then influence the designers on how to make these choices. These are things that you've dealt with before, I assume? These are things that we train our military for, that actually, as a survival instructor, we put our, our, our soldiers through psychological and physical stress during their training so that when they're in a real-life situation and they are set up with these moral decisions, they can better make a decision in that, in that avenue. That way, they're not going to, you know, kill a civilian or do something that's uh, morally wrong. Can you give us an example of one of the decisions that maybe you've seen in the game as you've been helping design it? Um, well, what I, saw the, yeah, what, what, what I saw in the game is that there's one where they actually use a phosphorus okay. spray. And when you play it, you'll see that when they use it, they don't... I don't want to give away the game. Yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers here. But when they use it, there's, some, there's a horrific outcome from that. Okay. And um, and it's so realistic, which is uh, it's, it's just un unbelievable the graphics of this. And and they can choose not to use it. They can choose not to use it. And if they do use it, it might not go so well. Right. I mean, it is phosphorus. It is phosphorus. <laughs> yes. It's a lot of fire. People. It's a lot of fire. Okay. Um, well, ex explain to me then what you uh, what you did for the military. How did that prepare you for something like helping out with this game at 2K? Well, what it is, uh, is is we teach the psychological of survival, too. Okay. And we also teach that the environment is just as hostile as any enemy out there. Uh, there's a there's a ratio that these guys of equipment these guys have to carry. Mm -hmm. uh, the enemy, they need lots of bullets. But when they're in an environment like this, then they're going to have to have a lot of survival equipment. Lots of water, you know, uh, sunglasses, sunscreen. Yeah. I, I can go on and on. So... Um, but the thing about this game is that when you play it, you actually kind of feel like you're there. I mean, you can't play it for five minutes and feel like you start sweating from the heat, from the sandstorms that come along. You know, you can actually feel the wind. You can feel the dehydration that these guys are going through. And that's what uh, that's what I like about Spec Line. What would actually uh, happen if something like this were to happen, a big sandstorm were to come and, and wipe out Dubai? I mean, is it realistic what happens in this game? Then? You never know with today. You know, you never know when a, when a, when a natural disaster or a huge one could, could happen. They happen all the time. The thing about Dubai is that they get most of their water through desalinization from the ocean. Exactly. So if something like this sandstorm happened and electricity goes down, no water. I mean, they got a few wells, but that's about it. In the middle of the so desert. a survival situation would happen very quickly in a situation like this game. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed uh, watching some of the footage for the game and watching some of these guys play, the, the soldiers start off looking good. You know, they're in their, they're in their outfits, exactly. they're set, and then later on, they look right. They don't, they don't look so good <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Dehydration, yeah. sunburn, the sand. Um, everything, you know, really starts weighing on them, just and that, like in a real-life situation. And that sort of affects, as you said, their their choices. It influences their mental state throughout the entire course exactly. of the game. Exactly. A, a soldier that understands that there is going to be mental and physical stress is a soldier that's going to do very good in, in a situation like this. What about a video game player? A video game player? Well, um, that's where those moral decisions <laughs> come in. Okay. 
Okay, is there, is there anything else you want to tell uh, people who are waiting for Spec Ops to, to make them go out and play this game and not just kind of throw it away as another shooter? If you want to play a game that's not like it, or any other game on the on, out there, it's Spec Ops Live because of the psychological, the, the stress that's applied to you, the decisions that you got to make. It's, it's, it's more realistic, and this is kind of where the Army, this is kind of where the Marines are headed in their training, their real-life training. They're going to start putting these these soldiers in situations with this with these gamers, you know, in kill houses that are going to give them moral decisions that they have to make, so that they're better equipped to face those in real life. Absolutely, that sounds very awesome. I I, I really appreciate your time, Reggie. It's been no, great no talking problem. to you. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you.